A lot of what we see and say has to do, you know, any one piece isn't particularly unique or surprising, but it's pulling them all together and saying, so this is, this is what it means. And if this is how it is, then how do you need to behave? A lot of times the content itself, as long as you're making entertaining content, um, getting somebody to stop in a scroll, you know, has to do with packaging, you know, how it's, how it's titled. A title can make the difference between 10,000 views and 2 million. Everything else can be the same. And I also do a lot of research looking at what other companies who have really great data science teams, what they're doing. You know, what's Facebook doing? What's Netflix doing? What's um, Upworthy doing? What's Group 9 doing? What's the, you know, Condé Nast group doing? Looking at what they're doing and pulling that all together. Those are best practices, which maybe my clients don't have the time to ferret out, but I do, so then I can bring it to them. Video is just much more engaging. It's like 138% more engaging. So I think it's important for people to recognize depending on where that video is, how important it is. And also that um, discovery, again, for where people are, uh, young millennials are discovering their content through social platforms. And so if you want to meet them, that's one of the places they are. But you have 90 seconds to stop them scrolling on their feed. So what are you going to do? And there are certain tricks you can do to encourage them to look and stop. What was very interesting is one of my fellow panelists was actually from Facebook. So he was able to talk to them about um, the, the kicker effect. You know, if they are having a campaign that exists on linear and also on Facebook, what that does in terms of brand recognition, purchasing, that it's, it's, more, it's more powerful than simply additive than one or the other. It's, it's more important, it's more successful. Um, the, the conversation um, flowed a lot around sequencing as well. You know, if we want to tell a story across mediums, how does that work? Um, the importance of authenticity and content that was made by users. Now, again, this is something we find that younger audiences respond to messages that are delivered by their friends and real people. You know, there's sort of a, a circular, the most influential person is a friend, and then another real person, and then a celebrity, and then a brand. And so how do you tap into that? And if you're creating a message, to remember that you're not just creating, you're not really creating that message for the person who already loves your brand, you're creating that message for that person's friend, because you want to bounce Cross. You want to get that organic reach. One of the things is remembering sort of human nature and how people respond. And so uh, faces, having a face that can convey emotion is very useful rather than just, you know, text, for instance. You can have text as well. Most videos play silence. You'll want some text. But having a face which people can read and understand the complexity. If you've got um, Bright colors, people respond to bright colors. That's important. Sometimes uh, if you have, for instance, I was speaking to one of the participants here who happens to do a lot of political activation and they tend to have a lot of talking head videos. And one of the things I said is the first 12 seconds, you wanna cut, you wanna have like six cuts. So you have two cameras set up and you cut between these angles and that may be really jarring in a linear setup, but in a digital setup, it works, people are used to it, and it's effective because they've listened to the conversation and they're engaged by the end of that 12 seconds. Then you can be more traditional, but at the top, you wanna to cut. So, I mean, those are just really simple things. And titling, again, to remember the context. Context is so important. If your video is showing up in a social environment, it's fun, it's not school. You're not lecturing. Who are you competing against? You're competing against somebody's you know, cat video or news about their kid. So you want to be fun. You want to have a sense of play or intrigue to it, you know. And the single most important thing is the type of video. That's, that's what's going to drive, like if you're looking at monetizing on YouTube, type is really important to, to being successful. And then also cadence, you know, the cadence of when you publish. And different platforms are different. And recognizing, knowing your audience and where they're going to be is so important because there are some platforms maybe your audience isn't there you don't need to be there there are other platforms where your audience is and you should